Hello everyone and welcome to a very special episode of N++, The Lost Levels, uh, where I'm going to be attempting to cover all the levels that I've gotten full gold on, uh, but we haven't actually shown on camera. At least those that um, are part of uh, an individual set rather than a, a full uh, episode set I should be able to show. I think A02 is one that I can't actually show because I only did that as part of a set of five. Um, but regardless, um, I'm going to be jumping in and uh, showing the replays for each of them. Now, because some of them are part of uh, episode sets, uh, rather than make you watch through all of them, I'm going to cut to each vid uh, video individually and uh, just talk you through what went on with them. Here we go. So the very first of our levels is A4 Part 5, which, as you might expect from this horrible death room, um, is kind of evil. I managed to get myself used to a certain routine running throughout to clear the start. Um, hopping up that left wall and then running across to the middle. And the, re the rest of it is about learning the timing of them so that I could accelerate round the edge and up the side right wall uh, like this and then over the top. Woo! And once you've cleared the top, the rest is just finding nice passages to fall down throughout the rest of the bits. So making your way up and then falling successfully and not getting hit by anything and just constantly looping round right to left, right to left. Not difficult as individual jumps go, but um, consistently getting it right this early in the campaign was a bit of a, a pain in the bum. The hardest part was the more you clear off, um, finding a way of keeping your time consistently useful because this early in the campaign I was also trying to keep my times up rather than just going after the gold, so I was trying not to waste any jumps. A jump without getting a piece of gold or a jump without getting two or three bits of gold was, was kind of pointless. And at this point I started thinking maybe I should come at it from the left hand side just to finish off those last little bits. And again, careful timing, remembering from when I started that I can hop up on this side, get across to the middle and then come down there and there's only one bit left in the middle. A little hop, skip, wait for this to pass, and then I think we hop up quickly, and that didn't work. Ah! <laughs> In fact, I can kind of remember the stress of that. It doesn't take much to make a tiny mistake, and then you're pretty much all gone. And that was two attempts that I took at that before I figured out which, uh, which direction I needed to come at it from. So once again, waiting for this to go past, and we're going to try and pick it up on the way up. No, missed it, and across. And then it's just about getting out safely, and the rest is pretty much a walk in the park, as long as you don't get cocky and uh, and mess up. So hop, careful hop, walk, bounce, wall jump, wall jump, across, 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 and don't screw up the last jump. Nicely done. Alright, let's move on. The next level is A5 Part 2, which uh, had this horrible little bounce up in the middle. Not particularly difficult once you get the timing right, um, but getting the timing right so that you could just bounce, bounce, bounce across, that took me a fair few efforts, uh, a fair few attempts I should say. Uh, the hardest bit is you end up mistiming it ever so slightly and smacking your head or the lasers end up getting you and all you need to do is just touch your way up and then immediately get out of the way of the lasers. Doing it without hitting any of the toggle mines is going to be a lot harder, but that one went pretty smoothly. One thing I did want to mention, unfortunately, if um, the score fails to submit to the MetaNet servers, then you don't actually have your replay saved at all. Um, so I can't show you the replays for A19 Part 1 and Part 3. Needless to say, Part 19 involves a lot of... Let me just move the mouse over and I can show you. A lot of very careful manoeuvring. So you bring yourself up round here and then it's all about dodging that missile that was in the centre and then bring yourself back round for one final swing before back down to the exit at the bottom. It took me, well, you can you can see 492 attempts. It took me a long time to get through it without, um, uh, well, we, while getting all the gold. Um, we still got to do A19 part five, um, but let's move on to the next level and not, not dwell on the fact I can't show those uh, replays. Okay, so we're on to the B levels now, and this is the legend of that gold on that one level, which as you can see is a hell of a lot. Getting in a little bit tricky because of the uh, the damn blue balls and that uh, missile. Once you're in, not screwing yourself up for the return journey is the hardest bit. You need to have enough space to be able to jump in between those, uh, those toggle mines. 
And then likewise, once you're inside, as long as you're logical about the way you pick these up and uh, don't end up doing too many toggle mines at once, then you should be fine. But you can't leave yourself in a bind. You can't uh, toggle mines that you're going to then have to go back over. So I started from the right hand side, clearing as many as I could. I'm then going to do as much as I can in the air and then gradually work my way back across the base. And you see how I'm being careful to clear stuff, making sure that I've got enough space to bounce through and move across. So I can dodge that mine, I can get through there, dodge, and once again, across the middle, and once again out, and it doesn't matter from here on out. All you need to do is just dodge the blue balls, and fine, we've got a big minefield up the top to, uh, to navigate and, and avoid, but take your time, and that bit's relatively straightforward. And then you've just got exactly the same to do here. And then at this point, don't panic. Gonna move down, wait, and you need to drop down carefully. Let that hit, and then you're free to do the rest of the level at your own leisure. The other uh, blue ball areas have only got three balls, so it's much, much easier. Just take your time, move down carefully, with 700 odd seconds, you're not in a rush doing an all gold run on this one. And then once again, just waiting for the gap. Get that, get that, hold on and jump free. Nice and simple and straightforward exit. Alley up, alley up, and we're done. B13-3 is the next target of our all gold uh, review. This took me a long time to get used to bouncing directly on the top of those spikes and you see that I haven't actually perfected it in any way shape or form but bouncing perfectly and just getting that tiny tap it gives you a lot more height than a regular jump on any of the angled slats and it took me such a long time to realize that but you see I can actually get all the way up to do those by just bouncing on the top whereas that one did not get me the height and that's holding uh, the jump down for the same amount of time you get it bang on the top extra height, miss a little bit, it's just not going to happen. I could do this a lot more efficiently, but at this point I was just happy to make it through the level. We'll grab this and then we'll make our way back, mostly just taking our time, carefully dodging the mines that I've already triggered. I say carefully, that was actually a bit reckless. At this point I start taking a lot more care and over, and now we just need to get those last little bits, which we can do from wall jumping. Job done. Next up on our replays is B16 Part 5. We still haven't done B16 Part 3, um, but I like this one because of the, uh, the trickiness of that middle section. You have to do that area on the right hand side. You can't get up there properly from down below. This bit, this bit is what took so much time. I spent hundreds of attempts just practicing this jumping to get that tiny middle one right there. I do hope you can see my mouse cursor where I'm pointing it out. Once you've done the top and got that bit, the rest of it is just about being careful and paying attention to what's going on. The lasers will continue to move, the missile will continue to shoot. But as long as you plan for it, neither of them should pose a threat. So, it shoots, keep back, let it hit. Get the gold, end up somewhere safe. Take your time and don't risk it for a biscuit and you'll be absolutely fine. At this point, we need to dispose of it. Get rid of it there. Get somewhere safe. Let it hit. And then we're going to go over to the right. Now those toggle mines, you do need to trigger some in order to get down into the gold. Uh, I was trying to think of a clever way of doing it uh, without doing any of them. But in the end, I figured getting those, being careful about it, watching for toggle mines just in case there's a nasty trap. Make sure that you have a way out and not going too high because at this point I was really happy I'd got through the middle bit. And now it's just about getting back out without dying. Watch the laser. Watch the little goblin on the ground. And when the timing's right, go for it. And you, you only need to get there. Pretty good. Oh my word, this one was so much perfect timing in order to get it to work properly. So, B17-5. If you fall down perfectly like I have done there, 
you can make it through the first um, little blue smashes and drop down perfectly like that. Now, being chased by the ninja, you have three seconds before he actually catches up with you. But you need to keep this flow and this rhythm going in order to, to make this level work. If you take your time and pause too much, you'll lose the flow, you'll lose the rhythm, and it just it just doesn't work. This this level is all about constant motion. A little bit of hop there, and we're gonna go over and down very quickly. We've got three seconds to get back out before that ninja comes back in. Just get rid of the missile, dodge the ninja before the end, and I have no idea how I managed to do that. That took a hell of a lot of attempts, but I was so satisfied when it worked. So satisfied. And the final one for the bees, literally the final one for the bees, B19 part 5. Another level where perfect timing and muscle memory really, really sets you ahead. Learning how to move so that these uh, little, let's call them friends, purple friends, uh, end up bouncing off each other and getting out of your way as much as um, they're just moving around being inoffensive. Learning where the lasers are going to be before you move allows you to do stuff like that where you dodge them on two different axes at the same time. And then just not screwing up right at the very end is probably the hardest thing. You need to trail them behind you, so you're basically kiting those purple guys so that they're not moving through any of the extra gaps when you need to be moving near them. So. I ended up bringing them all around this way so that this area was clear for me to exit. Otherwise, if they'd come back through that way, I would have been totally screwed. Whew. I was glad to get the B19s finished and done and not have to go back to them at all. The first level on the on the Cs that we're actually going to be uh, showing is C12-3. I think you remember this one. It was the, the awkward bouncing angle one. Lots of reverse jumping like that, uh, where you're jumping away from the angle of the slope that you're running on, um, but getting the positioning of it so that you can fall down as many of those as possible is really hard. And knowing that when you're, when you're actually leaving, you're going to have to go up that right hand side, so you can't have any of those toggle mines that I just ran up past triggered. That's the hardest bit of, of this. Timing your landing so that you land between them and then bouncing back so that you don't screw yourself up at the end. C17-4. The first time I saw this I had no idea how to get in there and it is just getting that tiny tiny tap bounce that we've seen before. Uh, we saw it on the, um, on the one where I was bouncing on top of those little pyramids. If you don't do that and you only, you basically need to get in there only triggering one toggle mine. Anything more than that and it's game over because you need to be able to walk out. You can't bounce your way out of that. Once you've got the gold, it's relatively straightforward. Don't get shot by the big gun. Take your time. Time your bounce so that it triggers. It starts shooting. Then you can get through while it's uh, not actually firing on you. That's why I tested that. So knowing it's shooting and then I move. It's going to aim, then I get to move, and then we're going to go and get those last bits of gold. And then all we need to do is just avoid those blue orbs on the way back. So careful moving, we're going to wait for both of them to get out of the way. Oh, we've mucked that up a little bit, so we're going to bounce back across. Once again, just taking our time, being sensible about it. And once we get here, we can probably just bounce down. So early up, gravity is our friend. The blue orbs have gone all the way around, so they're not in any danger of getting in the way. Just dodge the little gremlin, and we are clear. And the next one is actually going to be uh, the next level, so let's just move straight on and see that. What fun this one is. It's called Cyber Dungeon Quest, and you need to know specifically which way to move through, in which order, in order to stop that little friend from following you too much. So we go down first. We go down, we bounce across on the top one of those toggle mines so that we can actually get through that gap later. We come back up through there and we're going straight up right for the very top otherwise we don't get another chance to come back here. Across, bounce off the side and back to get that one. Watching out for the toggle mine and now we can go in here safely. If we hadn't gone in here um, in that order we wouldn't have been able to get that bit of gold that was right by the bounce pad right at the start. It, it locks the entire area off. It's absolutely horrible. Now that we've got that, 
All we need to do is get past that little friend. So we're going to go up on the right. We're going to jump across, come down. He's got such a slow turning circle that we can actually sneak out that way and get out through there, which is why we left the middle toggle mine free. We do the same thing again, slow turning circle. And again, slow turning circle, but we're bouncing ever so slightly higher each time. One more try should do it. And then we can just get out carefully. Now getting out carefully, the jump from here to the end is hard. The jump across there is hard. So make sure you've got the height and avoid that corner toggle mine right there. That corner toggle mine cost me 30 attempts by itself, I swear. Oh, the blue balls that is C18 part 5. Now the blue balls themselves were not too much of a problem once I got used to the timing of them. Knowing when to jump in order to follow them out, fine. Getting the gold, opening that exit, and then running back. And we use this as a little safe haven from the laser. We're not going to go down into the, the bottom left corner at all. We're just waiting for them to pass it so that we can trigger this. And that's going to give us a little safe zone. And oh, perfect. Once again, two sets of blue balls. Hop, hop, and then through. Hop, hop, and through. And now it is all about the missile fun. Now the missile fun in this area, it was just about learning a muscle memory routine in order to lead it on a goose chase. I don't know missiles well enough in order to actually uh, trail them and make them go exactly where I want them to. So learning how to make them move a little bit so that I can get out was the hardest bit. And then actually implementing it, those blue balls there stopped me getting out so many times because I kept mucking up the timing coming across there. After that bit, the rest was really easy. Um, but this section was the hardest of the entire part. And the final one of our lost levels for the moment is C19 part two. Now this is one where I really take the time to demonstrate the three second rule. Shadow ninjas will follow you after three seconds. So time your jumps, anticipating where you're gonna be and one, two, one, two, one, two, at each stage before you move on because it builds up the maximum amount of time between where you finish and where the last one ends up. And I got very lucky there because I mistimed it by about a second. One second more and I would have been really, really easy to just make it through that. Now this bit, I'm just being careful to make sure that if it doesn't take me a huge amount of time to get all the way around, I've still got the option of jumping between them. You'll see that they all follow the same jumping pattern, of course getting all the gold as we move and along the bottom I try and take a little bit longer uh, just to make sure that we've got the last ninja gone and there we go. Now it's just walking to the exit. Okay well that's pretty much where we are with the last levels. We're still missing A19 part 5. That's going to take me a long time to do. We're still missing B16 part 3 which is the industrial angel park and the little angled slats are annoying and getting the, the piece right up in the top left hand corner has been the bane of my life. C14 part 5 that's the one where we need to stand in place dodging blue balls for I think it was 45 seconds before we can actually get through to the bit at the top. I'm going to do that sometime when I've got a lot of beer on hand and I don't care what I'm doing with the rest of my day. That may take me an entire day to do. And final one that we haven't done yet is C19 part 5. That is the, let's call it industrial strength frogger level. I actually watched a replay of someone doing it and I think that's beyond my skill level at the moment. I'm going to give it a couple of goes at some point, uh, but I'm not expecting to be able to full gold it for a very long time. Either way, uh, that's where we are at the moment. I hope you've enjoyed watching these uh, lost levels. And uh, if you have, then uh, do remember to drop a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, join me again next time for more N++.